guys, today we're talking about something that is uh, a little depressing to me, but uh, very exciting at the same time. It's uh, it's another rod that I now have to buy. Um, as mentioned, with some of the, uh, the the freshwater stuff, the collection's getting a bit big, and uh, what's in the bag is now going to include this, unfortunately, but fortunately at the same time. Okay, very very exciting. Today we're gonna we've added to the uh, the elite stable. Now a lot of you guys would have seen the elite in action. Um, Dawa Saltus Elite that is been catching multiple fish. It's been pulling the teeth out of anybody and uh, Yeah, that was the heavy version now. That's a six to eight ounce rod Now this is the baby brother now when you say baby. He's not really a baby We do a 14 foot and a 14 foot 6 and a 15 foot and it has all the same great qualities that you had in the elite heavy This is a five to seven ounce rod so you're going to be comfortably throwing a six ounce and like a mackerel head, you will we'll throw it out of sight. Now, this, in my opinion, paired with something like a 6500 and uh, your 40 pound J bread or even 30 pound J bread will be the ultimate competition rod. It's, you can throw for smaller fish, you can throw for your bigger fish, it's got enough backbone to, to, to really put the hammer down. You've got your Fuji winch, comes with the bionic finger. That's going to be on there, so it really helps with casting. You can load it a lot harder. Um, Anti-tangle guides, they are Fuji's. You've got your X45, which is that brand new way of wrapping uh, carbon fiber. Instead of having a spline or a spine in the middle, you've got 45 degree angles that the, the carbon wraps like that. Gives you so much more strength. Also, you don't get loss of power as the rod loads up. So when you're throwing your bigger baits or even just casting it or pulling with it, you have no loss of power as the rod flexes all the way through like that. Now, in this you also got spigot joints to keep the rod nice and thin. And it's what the Dawa calls the V-joint concept, which basically the spigot's got a lot more flex in it than you get with a normal spigot. So you don't get that rod bending and then having a flat spot where the spigot is and then carrying on. The whole rod's got a nice parabolic bend to it, so the spigot actually flexes with the rod. Now, that combined with the guides, with the blank, with the X45 and the uh, high volume fiber which forces all that resin out, keeps the rod nice and light. It's not, uh, it's not a featherweight stick but it's not designed to be like that. You are going to never break this rod. We uh, haven't had a single breakage with the, the heavies and they've been put through their paces properly and I don't think this guy's going to be any, any further off than that. So yeah, if you do have the heavy or if you're looking for a single rod to have as your all do everything kind of a stick or if you have the heavy and you're looking for something instead of throwing your eight ounce and a whole bonnie you want to throw something like a little little mackerel head or a red eye head fishing for for uh, gray sharks or something up at Mtanzini or at least in Kwasi where you need to get to the outer bank to get the bite I think this rod is going to be absolutely fantastic for that it uh, comes in at a very good price um, beating a lot of the competition out and yeah, it's just an absolutely fantastic rod. The Saltus Elite Medium Heavy is in a, gonna be a big seller. It's something that we've already started selling. It is moving off the retail floor very quickly, so make sure to get to your respective retail dealer. And uh, yeah, it's something that uh, you really need to try. Come into the shop, have a feel of it, um, get a bend to the rod, and uh, yeah, it's one of those, those must-haves, unfortunately, <laughs> but fortunately at the same time, so yeah. Dive assault to sleep medium heavy. Come check it out. Cheers.